Good evening here in Canada, but good morning to you, Darren. Yes, good evening, uh, Peter. Here we have Darren Townsend with Peak Resources, and you're in Perth today, I believe? Yes, lovely sunny Perth. It's a lovely blue sky, as it always is outside the, the window. You know, I'm going to have to get there and visit you soon. Now, we've seen some exciting news come out of the company lately, which is why you and I are talking. I believe the stock was halt traded recently, and you had some news that came out. Yeah, it's been a uh, pretty busy sort of six months for us. We finished off our bankable study, and uh, we're in the process of uh, applying for our mining license in Tanzania at the moment. So lots going on. We re released the project update the other day with some really good results. So right. happy to fill you in on those. And what's that project called? Yeah, it's our Nagala project in, in Tanzania. So uh, we do all of our mining and processing in country, and then we do our refining at uh, up in Teesside in the United Kingdom is our plan. Right, so that's N-G-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A, right? N-G-U-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A, yeah. In Tanzania. Right. And what yeah. minerals are we mining there? Yeah, so it's a, a vast site deposit, um, but most of our focus is on neodymium presidemium. So that's our, our main focus. Numbers 59 and 60 on the periodic table, I think. I'll take it from you, Peter. I think so. I think you're right. I think you're right. Now, do you sell them always together once you process them as NDPR? Yeah, so we'll be producing a mixed uh, NDPR oxide pro product, and that's about 90% of our revenue stream. Do you have an offtake agreement in place? Uh, we don't have anything in place at the moment. We've been unencumbered. We uh, didn't think there was any point sort of getting into offtake while the prices were so low. Uh, but now that the rare earth prices are getting back to sort of more normal levels, uh, we'll certainly start cranking that up. And obviously, it's a good uh, lever to use as part of the financing. Now, I'm not a rare earths expert, but I hear the market is moving up a fair bit lately. Why do you think there's been such a rush in prices? Yeah, well, really, prices haven't even really cranked that much yet. They're back to sort of what I'd call mid-levels. Um, we've seen that mainly from the Chinese cracking down on the illegal, environmentally unfriendly production. And uh, that's, that's what's hit the screen so far. Demand hasn't really hit the screen yet. But supply is being cut into. Yeah, that's right. It's, um, there was quite a bit of illegal production in China, I think anywhere between sort of 25 and 50% of production, depending on whose numbers you believe. And that's getting severely uh, eaten into at the moment. Um, what's the global production annually for NDPR? Uh, good question. It's about uh, thirty to 50,000 tonnes a year, depending on sort of whose numbers you use. Yeah. And I know it's currently used in combustion engine vehicles, uh, about half a kilogram per car, but I understand that electric cars need about one kilogram per car. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. And more than 90% of the drive motors for electric and hybrid cars are using rare earth drive motors. In fact, one of the few that wasn't using it, Tesla, is actually in the in the process of moving its Model 3 onto NDPR drive motors as well. So, so if you want to get the energy from your lithium battery to the road, you're going to be going through an NDPR rear earth magnet drive motor. Really? I didn't know that. Mm. So they're looking at roughly 450,000 to 500,000 Model 3s. So that's roughly 500,000 kilograms needed just for that one vehicle, one car. It, 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 yeah, just for the drive motors, that's right, yep. Wow, those are big numbers. And do you sell it by the ounce, the ton, the pound? Uh, it's per kilogram. So at the moment, the price is about $80 a kilogram. And you mentioned recently you had results. What did those show? Yeah, we've dropped our operating costs down to just over $32 a kilogram. So uh, as you can see, there's quite a sort of margin there in the business. So really proud. We've doubled the operating free cash from the PFS to our latest set of results. It's pretty unusual to see that for a project. So just goes to show you the quality of Nagala and, and our team. Yeah, usually it goes the other way. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, we've uh, doubled it up to $126 million a year post-tax uh, free cash. So. so what's the next big thing to look for from Peak Resources? Yeah, we've got our environmental certificate this year and finished the bankable. So we've just announced uh, last week we've submitted the mining license application. So it's going to be full steam ahead over the next six months putting in place the uh, 
mining license and associated agreements. So that's really our main focus. Once we've done that, we can then finish off with an offtake and rare earth prices where they are, this thing's ready to bank. So uh, yeah, it's an exciting time coming up. Excellent. Are you coming to North America soon to look for financing? <laughs> well, as a junior, we, uh, we usually always need money. So at some stage, we will need to get up there. We're currently actually in the process of uh, finalizing a financing. Uh, we've got our partners ERP that we actually work with on the Mountain Pass bid. Uh, ERP are coming in as investors into Peak, so black proud to have them coming in. Excellent. Um, so we should check in with you again in about three months, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think, yeah, three, three to six months, we should have some really good news on where we're at with licensing. Looking forward to working with the Tanzanian government to get that in place. Tanzania has actually a, 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 got a real opportunity here to be a, a supplier of pretty important strategic minerals. So not only have got, you know, it's awesome in the Gala Rare Earth resource, but there's a lot of uh, graphite deposits over there as well. So, um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting six months. So do you have any graphite claims or is it just something you're looking at? No, it's not, it's not something we're looking at, just that there's a good endowment of graphite already in Tanzania, so a lot of new technologies uh, coming through, new technology minerals coming out of Tanzania. Great. I appreciate your time. Thanks, Peter. Cheers. Yep. Bye.